2022, his focus is on transforming India into a developed country. May I now request His Excellency, the former President of India, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, to deliver the convocation. Nice to meet all of you. Smiling. Keep God smiling. His Excellency, Mr. Pushpa Kamal Dahal, Prime Minister and Chancellor of this great university, and the Suresh Raj Sharma, the Vice Chancellor, and also my friend Professor Pirko uh, from Thailand, and all the excellent uh, members of the Senate, members of the faculty, the uh, district guests, parents, and dear students, my greetings to all of them. I am indeed of Kathmandu University. My greetings to the Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, heads of the departments, uh, faculty members, students, parents and distinct guests participating in this conversation. As I was pursuing your university website, I was attracted by the vision and the mission statements of the, your university. Quality education for leadership. To become, this is what your website says, to become a world-class university devoted to bringing knowledge and technology to the service of mankind rooted in establishing and nurturing this university. Uh, friends, yesterday I arrived here. When I see you all in Nepal, I am reminded, reminded of my childhood. I was born in the island, all sides see. I studied in island. I graduated in the East Coast and worked in the East Coast and West Coast during the space and defense missions. But wherever, whenever I see a mountain and hilly region, what I see here, I'm inspired. It gives me happiness. I traveled from Delhi to Kathmandu yesterday. When I was approaching, Kathmandu, I have seen the beautiful sight of many peaks of the mountains of Nepal. What a beautiful scene it was. When I, when I look at the peaks of, to think higher, when you see the peak, it inspires you to think higher and to have a bigger vision. Vision at the peak always gives a guiding light for the nation. Hence, I feel, hence I feel small aim is a crime. Hence I feel small aim is a crime. We should aim high, achieve high, and also uplift the people to higher quality of life with prosperity and peace. Uh, friends, as a student, what is the one good quality you should possess to face the challenges of today? What is the one good quality you should face the challenge of when you enter into, when you enter away from university education, when you enter into profession or any work? You want to repeat with me, will you? Will you? Yes? You are good guys. <laughs> Courage. Courage. To think different, to think different. Courage. courage, to invent, to invent. Courage. courage, to travel, to travel. Into, an into an unexplored path, unexplored path. Courage. Courage. courage, to discover the impossible, impossible. Courage. courage, to combat the problem, combat the problem. and succeed, or the unique qualities of the youth. As a youth of Nepal, as a youth of Nepal, I will work and work with courage to achieve success in all the missions of my nation. Thank you. Friends, while I'm
That's what I'm going to talk to you. As the modern Nepal is emerging, I was delighted to study the presentation of a president of Federal Democratic Republic of Nepal on the policies and the program for the year 2008-2009, and it was presented in the Constituent Assembly. I was asking myself, what can be the one single action that will integrate the nation as a whole towards the economic prosperity and peace and inspire the youth of the nation? I have studied many nations' history and development. I have come to the conclusion, I have come to the conclusion that only a ten-year profile for vision for the nation by the elected government can bring this focus on inspiration. I have seen myself how the vision inspires the youth population of India. The university has a natural and important role. The university will be a partner in Nepal development. Can you? Can you? Can you? As, as I study the Indian plan of marriage from 3.6 to 6 point by people below poverty line has to be reduced from 31% to 24%. Employment has to grow from 3% to 3.5%. Maternal mortality rate has to be reduced like life births. Literacy has to increase from 22% to 60%. Telephone density has to increase 6.5% to 25% from the 0.16 million to 1.26 million. I consider information envisaged by the vision documents of Nepal Planning Commission. Uh, with that perspective, I would like to share. I would like to share some experiences of societal transformation and groups across the world to take up a new avenues of research, be it improving the quality of life, the exploration of the unknown, or be in many fields impacting the world at large or be up to the challenges that conference us. What are the challenges? <laughs> if you people in Nepal stood and then follows, you should be ambassadors for Nepal. And definitely the revolution means for world revolution. So what would be the constructive experience of research leads to quality teaching. I'm a teacher. I can definitely say the experience of research leads to quality teaching. And quality teaching is important to the young, in turn, enriches the research. Cotton University, with the core competence in science, management, engineering, arts, medical science, and education, should now enter into advanced courses in a number of interdisciplinary subjects and thus to develop the villages. Nation cannot be developed. So I have built a model. How to develop the rural setup is called Pura. For next three minutes, I'm going to talk to you. The sustainable rural development model, you send APJ at the rate of Abdul Club.com. 24 hours, you get it. <laughs>